which point they'll start what we call the gamma turn, where we turn directly up and head to space. One minute to release now. It's getting real. <laughs> so exciting. Forty five seconds. Thirty seconds. The spaceship Unity pilots are arming the launch pylon now. We are armed for release. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one. Release, release, release. Clean release. Ignition. Good rocket motor burn. There's Mach 1 trimming now. Trim complete. Unity is pointed directly up and heading to space. Things are looking great. We are 25 seconds into the burn now, approaching Mach 2. 30 seconds, Mach 2. Everything's looking really good and stable. 40 seconds. 45 seconds. Fifty seconds approaching Mach 3. There's Mach 3. And 60 seconds, and that is a full duration burn, folks. We are headed to space. And the passengers in the back have been cleared to unstrap. Our predicted apogee is 279,000 feet and climbing. The pilots are now unlocking the feather, and um, as soon as they do that, it's going to initiate a backflip for Spaceship Unity. This is normal. We want those windows pointed down towards the Earth to maximize that incredible view. So Feather is coming up now, and the pilots are also enabling the RCS, or Reaction Control System, which is what they'll use to control the attitude of the vehicle while we're outside the atmosphere. All right, Feather is all the way up. We are at about 250,000 feet now and climbing. As soon as we cross the boundary to space, we'll hear a word from our founder, Sir Richard Branson. Welcome to space, Unity 22. So it doesn't sound like we're cameras uh, recording things on board today, and we'll be sure to capture his magical words and share them with the world when they're available. We reached Apogee 282,000 feet. Remember the day, remember where you are, and remember who you shared this with, and remember the name Virgin Galactic, because today space is virgin territory the culmination of a life's work, more than a half a century since the world rejoiced in and was transformed by humans leaving planet Earth, Sir Richard Branson fulfills his long-held dream of experiencing space with his crew. Congratulations again, Richard, and congratulations also to Sarisha and Colin on becoming astronauts today. And welcome back to space to Dave, Mike, and Beth. Oh, you can see him now. So we are on the re-entry portion of our flight now, and the mission specialists are heading back to their seats.
Our training team has worked really hard on this portion of the flight to make it very natural and intuitive for passengers.